All right, Gary, we got another tool now to help you get better. This is called the swing trainer pin. We had you practice swinging it just standing still, and now I've asked you to go ahead and make an approach and to swing the pin and not let it flop. If you muscle it, if you pull down, the pin will flop on the backswing, okay? So let's watch this one. Here's your first try at it. Nice and smooth. Notice the pin and your arm are lined up straight, aren't they? You see the pin and the arm straight here? You see it straight here? That's the alignment that you want to have all the way through. That means you're not yanking up or down, okay? Top of the swing, still straight, isn't it? Very nice. Still straight. And right here is where things get weightless, as I told you. And the temptation is to pull, to pull down, okay? We'll see what you do now. A little bit of pulling, not much, not as bad as the first time. The first time it flopped way over. Now just a little bit of flop, okay? And it comes through, then it straightens out right there about that point. Let's move this over a little bit so we can see more of you. And we'll move this forward so we can see the finish. And that's what you want all the way through. Hardly any flop at all. And there's the straight again at the, at the release, isn't it? That's how it's supposed to work. Okay, good. So let's watch. I think we have another video of you doing it again here. Now it's even better. Look at this. Even better this time. No flop, isn't it? No flop at all. That means you let it come down naturally, okay? That's what we want. And look where it goes. Straight up in front. Shoulders still rotate a little bit, but that's not bad. We're not worried about that right now. We're just trying to get the feeling for a free swing. This is really good. Notice the, the arm and pin are pretty well lined up. There's no flopping. You wait for it. You come through nice and smooth. And actually, there isn't much shoulder rotation. Look at the side here. It's pretty nice. All right. So then we had you try it with a bowling ball in your hand, okay? Let's see how this looks. Pin goes back on the table. Bowling ball in the hand. And let's get it viewed so we can see it from both sides and front at the same time. And I said to you, make it feel just like you had the pin in your hand. Just like it. Still smooth and waiting for it and still relaxed. You're letting the ball swing you, actually, instead of you swinging the ball. Okay? Let's watch what happens. First step. Crossover step. Looks pretty smooth. There's those good airplane wings right there. Now the thumb's not pointed down right now, but that's okay. You'll, you'll be able to practice that. And these things you want to practice, by the way, one thing at a time when you go home. So maybe one for five or ten minutes you'll practice just putting your thumb down. Okay? Just that one little thing. We've learned from brain scientists that that's the best way and the quickest way to get better is to chunk bowling into little bitty chunks and work on those chunks separately one chunk at a time, one thing at a time, okay? So let's watch here at the finish. As you come through, let me slide this over so we can see your finish position here. There we go. Looking for less head and shoulder movement. Yeah, look at the head. A lot less head movement, isn't there? A lot less. And the shoulder, look at the, the side view. Shoulder is not going back as far, so we're, getting, we're making it. Nice finish. And look at the foot. Look how solid the foot is. Trail leg on the ground. Looking real good. That foot is rock solid. Look at that slide. Ball is still close to the ankle. You see how close to the ankle it is right there. That's still closer than it was earlier today. And the head stays much steadier. Follow through right through the face like we see with the top pros. Yeah. I think that's the, one, the best one you've done today. So, again... Progress comes in little chunks, but before long, this little chunk adds to this little chunk, and then you got a big amount of progress made. But it takes time. It's not going to happen like that. We all want things to happen immediately, but it takes a little bit of chunking to do it, okay? So back home, working these things one at a time, this is much better. And I'm seeing, with this, I'm seeing better ball motion. Still a little hitting up on it there. You see that hitting up? I want the ball to go down into the lane, not up. Watch it come up a little bit there. You see that? Just a little bit of up there, a little bit of this hitting up. I want the ball to be thrown to the floor, okay?
Let's do a good rotation off your hand. And the ball made a good reaction down lane. Let's see if we can take a look at the back view here. I think we have it. Yeah, here it is. I think this ball reacted more than before down the lane. Let's take a look at it. Your hand's more behind the ball, close to the ankle. Less rotation of the shoulder. He goes out there, never hooks and stops. He just makes a nice hook. It was a little off target, but that's okay. It doesn't matter, but it made a nice arc in the back end. Before it was kind of hooky and then stopping. Now it's continuing on because you're getting more effective ball motion out of that with the shoulders not rotating as much. All right, good job.